<laughs> so now we're going to move on to my um, beauty supply store haul. I mean, I would say NYX. I mean, I got a couple NYX things, but I got some other stuff too, and I don't want to just, you know, I don't, for this little bunch, I don't want to be like, okay, I got something from Walgreens, and it's one thing. So, just beauty supply department, not department, um, <sighs> drugstore, makeup. Um, I got two lip glosses. This was a while ago. I mean, I haven't been on YouTube for a while, so it's, I guess it's kind of collective. But, I got these two. I got this color. What's the name of this one? 129 Beige, but it's obviously pink. <laughs> but it's so pigmented. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that's gross. Uh, it's just a beautiful, it's like my perfect pink color. And it's buildable. I can have it kind of sheer. I can build up so it's like bubblegum pink. And it's it's just beautiful. And then, let me put this away too. Oh wait, no, I'm going to show it again. Um, and then I got my most perfect red lipstick. And here, you know what I hate about this camera? Is that it makes reds look orange. It's not orange. It is red red. It is true, true blood red. And it looks so good with my skin. I mean, it just looks so good with my skin. There's no way of it, me explaining it any better than that. It just looks so good. Um, I went to Sephora and I was looking for, you know, uh, you know, concealer that matched my skin. It's very hard for me to match my skin with concealers, with foundations, with whatever it is like that. I don't know why. It's so freaking annoying. But um, I was looking for something for like, you know, spot like concealing or whatever. It's like that um, one that would not make me look ashy completely, you know, or just like the little spots ashy spots in my face because it's lighter and I got this from Sephora Sephora brand and it's the darkest one I love how the darkest one mother mother I just dropped the cat I just dropped the cat between the drawers and that's gonna be a mother to get great <laughs> I'm so excited about that can I take it off of this and put it on here? No, that's that's disaster. Anyway, it has two sides. I don't know which is for what. I guess this is spot. This is under eye or vice versa. But I use... Sometimes I'll use this side for my under eye. And sometimes I'll use this one, depending. Depending on the type of day or how I'm feeling. But, um... Well, you know what? To be quite frank, this is on a normal day. This is when I'm, like, extra baggy under here. Like... I have extra groceries <laughs> under my eyes, and uh, I, need, I need to look alive and awake. But now, I think it's ruined forever. Beautiful! You can twist it and retract it. Screw you, Cap. I don't need you. Yeah, I probably do, but it's going to have to do for now. I can't believe I dropped it back there. It's annoying. And then this is my um, foundation that I use. It's, I don't know if this color stay is supposed to just be like concealer, but I use it for all over foundation and I really, really like the coverage. It doesn't cover everything. I'm not like completely acne scar free or whatever it is like that. You can still see them, but I look closer to one tone, which is like, you know, it, that's like huge for me. So. <laughs> This is it in um, shade 080. And it really does last all day. Like, even when I start sweating, or not even sweating, but, you know, getting greasy. Because I have really, really oily skin, especially because of the POS that I was talking about. Um, like, with powder foundations or any other foundations I've ever used... I, I mean, the grease really show through. And this is like minimal grease is showing through. And with the other ones, I would pat it down to try and get the grease off. And all my makeup would come off. And this one, very little makeup comes off when I pat it down from all the damn grease. <laughs> and I, I got this from Dwayne Reed. 
I saw it and I thought it was kind of cool. Mother, 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 mother. There we go. And it's like a teal and a lime green. And it comes with a little thing. And this says like, on the, on the, on the plastic it says that this is supposed to be the highlight and that's the contour, right? Are you crazy? Would you would you walk around with a highlight like this? No. Not unless it's like a photo shoot, please. No. Um and this was called Bowling Green. 812B. It was really inexpensive. I think it had to be like two dollars or something like that. It's NYC. New York color. And um then I got I was looking for the NYX um black mascara I don't know why I had to take it out to show you I got it from my you know hair supply store and now I have also this navy blue liquid eyeliner I was looking for black they didn't have it oh, sorry annoying but this is a beautiful it's like blue black oh it's gorgeous and last but not least for this I got this from Sephora this is before I got the next one, I was like, I need something. And I remember Sephora's mascara being awesome. They have like the volumizing one, they have the length one, and they have one that has like a triple action. I got the triple action. Next time I'm going to get the volumizing one. Because this one's like, it's okay. It's pretty good. But I like the volumizing Sephora brand mascara better than um, most mascaras. Even the big fat lash mascara that comes in the pink bottle. I used to like that one, but this Sephora one like kind of by bypasses that. And that's the last of the makeup. And then this is like the last of the haul for this video. And um it's I got these four nail polishes from the beauty supply store. Um man, I hate that this camera distorts the color. But I got this blue Let's see what it looks like. Oh, no, it's not giving it the glory that it is. It's definitely a deeper, darker color than what's showing on the camera. It is gorgeous. I mean, it is. I mean, I might even paint my nails this today. This is the one I have on my nails right now. It looks so much better in the bottle than on the actual nail. Can you see? Can you tell? I don't know. What is this one called? This one's called Crestkill. Crestkill Eve. Come on, there we go. All right. And it's from Curious. I mean, I spelled it all weird, all funky. Whatever. And this one, the one, the blue one, is called Paris Night. And it's also from Curious. And then I got these two Essie Nail ones, and this one's called Max. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous red, but it's coming up as freaking orange. And that's damn annoying. And then this one is called Merino Cool. And this is also a very, very gorgeous color. Mm. It's just like a taupey purple. It's great. Anyway, that's all for my haul. 